Hi everyone and welcome back to Sapphire and Steel, the audio books made by Big Finish. Unfortunately, no longer part of their catalogue. So here we are with season two, story number three, Water Like a Stone. A musical instrument starts to play on its own and lights go on and off. The place is known as the Capitol Palace Theatre, now closed down to the public. Sapphire and Steel arrive. Mr Arthur Bunnings inside greets Sapphire and Steel. Steel runs into another of their own kind, Ruby. Arthur is talking to Sapphire when a bell is rung, but there is no bell. Steel goes to investigate. Arthur recounts a story about a great flood of the past to Sapphire. Later on, Sapphire, looking for Steel, winds up in the past in 1914, encountering a woman looking like Ruby. Meanwhile, in the present, Steel and Ruby are trying to locate Sapphire in the past, and a strange side effect happens. Arthur sees his father in 1963 and years later went missing. Ruby searching for Sapphire in the past, while Sapphire seems to be playing a part in a Great Expectations, a Charles Dickens play. Still vanishes, and Sapphire also moves in time, meeting what she assumes is a very angry Ruby. Steele is in 1870 in the church, meeting a man looking like Arthur Bunnings. Arthur and Ruby in the present day are talking, and Arthur blames himself about the disappearance of his father. It starts to rain. When looking out the window, Arthur sees there is no rain clouds anywhere. It's a clear sky. Steele makes contact with Ruby and informs her he is in 1870 in the church Christmas Eve. Sapphire is flung around in the past and warns Steele the lake is about to flood where he is before vanishing again and Steele finds himself in Great Expectations. Ruby starts to work out something is projecting false information, making it hard for her to locate Sapphire and Steel. Sapphire now finds herself on the theatre stage. Ruby makes contact with Sapphire and tells her both her and Steel are trapped in the theatre plays. They are being manipulated. Ruby realises she caused a fissure in the time to open up playing a piano, plunging Sapphire and Steel into her theatre plays, and events of the past, fact and fiction, are intertwined. Ruby is now able to make a proper contact with Sapphire and Steel. Steel works out a method Twisting the words, both Sapphire and Steel start changing their words, freeing Sapphire and Steel back to the present. Someone has rewritten the plays, a ghost from the past. Sapphire and Steel locate a woman in the audience in the uh, every play. Ruby enters the plays to make contact with the woman. Contact is made. Her name is Louisa. She's age 17, who is waiting for Henry outside a church. Through Ruby, Sapphire and Steele talked to Louisa, and it was Henry who was waiting for Louisa, for she drowned on her way to meet him. Not knowing she died, forces her way into the plays. Sapphire and Steel free Louisa, and the damage is repaired, but at a cost. Ruby is now trapped in the plays. 
So there you go, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. Catch you on the next one. Goodbye.